Every single year when Madden drops, there's always a bunch of players that for some reason do not have a picture. So today I assembled an entire team of them and we're gonna see if they can get to the Super Bowl with the help of the 99 Club. Quick refresher in case you forgot. We have Mahomes, Justin Jefferson, Travis Kelsey, Zach Martin, and Aaron Donald. As for the guys with no picture, we have Sean Clifford and Tyson Bajan at quarterback. Raheem Blackshear, gonna be our RB1. We also have Zach Evans and Lou Nichols to third. Derek Parrish at fullback. This one doesn't make sense, man. Rashid Shahid made some really nice plays last year. He's a second year player for the Saints. And he still, for some reason, does not have a picture in the game. We also have the Rams wide receiver, Puka Nakua, who went off in week one. Not to mention a Patriots rookie, Demario Douglas. We have Jalen Marino Cropper and Darius Davis. We have Shane Zilstra, who's a third year player. And then Ben Sims at tight end. We have Jake Witt at left tackle. A Tony Omafi. First time I'm ever seeing that first name. And Jason Poe. Not to mention James Empey and Sean Majin, Chandler Zavala and Mike Caliendo. Finally, Kobe Sorzadal all on the offensive line. On the D line, we have BJ Thompson and Carl Brooks. Kobe Turner behind Donald. Broderick Martin. Jonah Williams. And Raymond Voss. I probably said that wrong. I apologize. Now, in case you guys think I'm capping about Royal Match and how good of a game it is, let me show you and Cameron some proof right now i'm on level 213 and i legit cannot put the game down we have reached almost 100 people that have downloaded the game using my link i cannot thank you guys enough we are almost halfway to our goal of 200 once again it's free to play there are zero ads and you'd be doing me a huge solid if you just take one minute to click the link and download it thank you so much to everyone that helps you have no idea how much i appreciate it we have truman jones that left out behind good martin Mapu and Zaire Barnes at MLB, Cameron Thomas and Jack Cotrain at right out. Apologies if I said that wrong as well. Cater Kohu, a second year player as our CB1, Samuel Womack, Trey Brown, a third year player, Eric Scott Jr. and Josh Hayes at cornerback, Reed Blankenship along with Eric Hallett, Avery Young and Kendall Williamson, no relation to Zion. Kicker, we have Brandon Aubrey, punter Ryan Stonehouse. They can give him 99 kick power, but no profile pick. Right. Now, I want to scroll through some overalls real quick just to see what the lowest is the rams are 78 texans are 79 along with the titans same with the bears cardinals are 77 now i did that to show that we're not too far off with our 75 overall you gotta think some of these guys will get better during the season so i'm hoping our great offense can carry us to the playoffs gonna hop in in week two since we are in week two in real life and see how we do against the jaguars this is a good sign if our first coach suggestion is to get the ball in the hands of our 99 overalls. Jefferson going nowhere. Why is he dabbing up with the opponent, man? What the hell? That is not what we do around here, man. I understand he made a nice play, but still. Gotta have some team camaraderie, man. Luckily, our quarterbacks are 99, but our wide receiver and tight end 99s are not playing like it early on. Third and 11. Might have to go to someone else. Actually, Jay Jettis, open, spinning, can't get the first. Three and out the start. Luckily, we have a punter with 99 kick power. He should be able to pin the opponent deep here we go that's a booming kick into their own territory way to reverse feel now, i don't think we should be playing a lot of man coverage we have a good safety back there reed blankenship now he got injured so no one got to see him in prime time on thursday but i'm telling you he has a ton of potential we have a linebacker named good so there's no way he's bad <laughs> there's no way he's not talented they get the first down i don't think i was excited enough about getting that w in week one against the lions with this team like that's a really good win right there especially because we might not get many more uh oh he's going to the quarterback run lawrence up the gut not sliding how do we not force a fumble ginormous play right here have a chance to hold them to three up the gut etn gonna get the touchdown man good drive our offense has to carry like we just have to we're seven overalls higher than the defense we should be the ones putting up points kelsey with his first catch of the game he's back in real life i think he is man i know it says he's questionable but he was out there twerking in practice so We'll see what happens. Blackshear on his first carry. Only gets a couple. Third and eight. Look at this dude. Who's blocking this man? Gotta remember our offensive line is full of 70 overalls and lower. Besides Zach Martin. So yeah, we're gonna have trouble with the pass protection. Gotta get rid of the ball sooner. And put some backspin on our punts. Chance to get the ball right.
right back with a quick three and out. Defense came to play, it looks like, and I hope I did not just jinx him. Here we go. Yes, sir! We send Trey Brown on a blitz, and he gets to Trevor Lawrence. They're leaving Kelsey wide open. Look at this. Okay. What is going on? We will gladly take it, man. Travis inside the Jags territory. That has to be a busted coverage, but hey, thank you. He's our first time out. Yes, sir! Puka Nakua! Late round draft pick. Balling for the Rams. Gets his first catch of the game. Come on, Mahomes on a run. Yes, sir. Oh, we throw the pick. Bad decision. I should have thrown it away. But I promise you, I will make up for it, man. Plenty of football left in this one. Donald with the tackle for a loss. Let's go. Another one. Jesus, this man is on a mission. Need him to keep this energy into half number two. Before we start the second half, though, we have ourselves a super chat from Tyler Perkins4159. Says, thank you for using my idea. I love this vid, man. I appreciate you, and you got the best mad content on the site, man. Keep it up. My pittsburgh ravens look absolutely amazing by the way appreciate the donation man i'm grateful that you guys give me so many amazing ideas so i never run out now my job is to hopefully give you some good gameplay and make sure this is not a blowout right now lawrence dot in the sub picking up where he left off even if we can hold them to three we're going to be down multiple possessions but that's better than giving up seven so there's a big third and one hopefully we can get off the field watching the short passes he's going deep and that's incomplete good coverage we have yet to even try to get the run game going gotta do a good job of establishing that man raheem blackshear up the gut getting the first down third down and seven if it's one on one on the left side i'm going deep to jefferson uh oh it is why he would press jefferson and not give him safety help i have no idea but we finally get some points on the board Great tackle. Mapu cooking these dudes, man. Our run defense balling. Seven yards on seven rushes for Travis Etienne. It's our pass defense that's struggling. How is that not a pick? He just puts his hands down, and that's literally our ball. But it's all good. As long as we get off the field, that's all that matters. Third down and eight. Watch in the middle. Let's go. Good coverage. Donald with the pressure. We forced the punt. Second and ten. Little play action again. Jefferson on them crossing routes, man. He's nasty at those. Look at his coach trying to get tough. Man, what are you trying to square up? Right. Kelsey doing an out route right at the sticks. Nakua doing a corner route. Let's see who can get open. I'm just going to give it up to Jefferson. Let him be great. Oh my goodness. Lloyd with the breakup, man. Good defense. Two minute warning has been reached. Donald in the backfield. Let's go. Not going to use a timeout just yet. We have Aaron in the zone. Third down and seven. Empty backfield. So they're going to pass the football. Lawrence going deep. <gasps> Boom. And we get the interception. Let's go. Okay. Peter Kohu deserves a picture, man. And now we have to go 98 yards. Actually, no, we don't. We just got to get in field goal range. But Jefferson's no longer in the zone. I'm going to go up to Travis Kelsey. What a pass by Mahomes. I have Puka Nakua doing a double move. Hopefully, he can get open. There it is. Nakua. What a catch in open space. Jesus Christ. The goat getting us across midfield. Going to call timeout and pause it real quick. I, I have not shown you guys the difficulty. Just so you know, we are all always on all madden and simulation puka is just that good man he's that underrated and now he has us in field goal range we're hoping to make this the last drive of the game oh jefferson wide open yes sir we're inside the 10 patrick mahomes getting us the touchdown Fight. wait a minute they didn't give it to us that's the first time i've been stopped this year on the sneak against the cpu we're going right back to it mahomes gets the touchdown this time and we're 2-0 in the season we have puka nakua getting a nice upgrade since he is our slot wide receiver i'm gonna increase that he's up to a 70 with the morale boost team already improving everyone's morale is up hopefully it's enough to get us into the playoffs we go 10 and 7 second in the afc west up to a 78 overall first in passing yards a game i mean that's to be expected you have mahomes kelsey and jefferson run game was second to last at least we weren't last and our defense was top 10 in every major category but they didn't let us make the play Playoffs. look at all these teams that went 11 and 6 you had us and the Steelers miss out by one game very unfortunate here's a look at our schedule man we started off 5 and 0 first loss was to the Broncos and then we started spiraling a little bit man we lost four out of five in the middle of the season and by then it was too late to bounce back Mahomes had the most passes
passing yards in the league with 49-40. 36 touchdowns, only 10 picks, 75% completion percentage. Black Shear, only three yards a carry. Not the best, but he had 11 touchdowns. Mahomes added six. He might go ahead and win MVP. Jefferson, 1,400 yards, 13 touchdowns. Kelsey had 11. He also joined them in a thousand yard club. But look at Shahid and Nakua. Both had 900 plus yards receiving. These guys are too good to have no profile picture, man. On defense, Marty Mapu led the team in tackling. Donald had the most sacks by far. Mapu was second with four. He also led the team with four interceptions, man, doing it all. Most tackles for a loss was Donald, Turner, and Cameron Thomas. Aubrey was two of seven from field goal range. That's the starting kicker for Dallas. And speaking of Dallas, Prescott wins MVP. Hurts ends up second. Mahomes ends up third. OPOY, we had Mahomes and Jefferson in the top 10. DPOY went to Donald. Mapu was in the top five. Offensive rookie of the year, we had Nakua in the top five. And Mapu won defensive rookie of the year. Barnes, Turner, Young, and Jones all in the top 10. So our defense stepped up. Mahomes, of course, stepped up. I feel like we had a great season. Just, you know, it just got very unlucky. That 10 and 7 was not good enough to make the playoffs. Martin was the best lineman in the entire AFC. Donald, best D lineman. Mapu in the top 10 for best linebackers. The 99 club, plus players without a picture. Had a really good season. Just did not have luck on their side. Thanks for watching to the end. Destroy the like button if you enjoyed it. Please download the link if you're watching this late and you haven't done it. It literally takes one minute and you'll be helping me out tremendously because wisdom teeth extraction is not very cheap.